what up everybody long time no see huh it's been forever since I've been in one of my own videos um, today I want to change that and make a video about my fasting experience and my post fasting experience which is now and in the future it'll be a body transformation 30 day fitness challenge I'm gonna change from what's underneath these clothes to hopefully something a little better so y'all can watch and follow my my progress if you'd like but also I'd like to talk about my fasting experience which has been awesome why am I fasting I've been a raw vegan for eight plus years what do I have to heal well first of all I think eight years of being a raw vegan isn't necessarily going to clear up all the issues of 18 years prior of trash food shit junk food it's part of my French standard American diet drugs alcohol in the later years and um, so yeah I don't think I don't think eight plus years is gonna clean up all of that but I don't know I don't have any symptoms maybe it has but the real reason I'm fasting is because of a lower back issue I have I have a you probably can't see no nope, cameras too high but I have a on my lumbar left side I've got a pinched nerve that I've had slightly for the past two years. I got off the, the plane of Woodstock going to Woodstock Fruit Festival 2013 and I was like oh what is that and that's when it started hurting and I couldn't do squats like I couldn't do any I couldn't do much exercise there but um anyways I didn't really notice it. I didn't I didn't think much of it. I never addressed it, never went to the hospital or a chiropractor or whatever for it. And uh, about two years later, five months ago or so, I did another 30 day fitness challenge, which I have documented on YouTube, which you can check out at a link right here or, or here or something. And um, that was a bad idea the way I was doing it. I was doing like 50 squats one day and then 75 the next day and then 100 the next day and then 125. I was adding like 25 squats every single day, not letting my body recover or gain the strength that it needed to to be able to do 25 squats more every single day and so I got to like 100 squat or 200 squats and uh, I came back that day and from the gym and I was just like oh something's wrong and I think what happened is I've been to the chiropractor once since and uh, I got an x-ray and stuff and it looks like there's a pinched nerve there and it has been a pinched nerve for a very long time but now this pinched nerve has turned into a lesion it has a cut so it's not only pinching it but it's been pinching and rubbing for so long that it's actually damaged the nerve itself so um, the fasting is why that's why I was fasting so I could lay back and not do anything and the reason you fast the reason you stop eating food is because to digest food it takes a a ton of energy and so when we stop digesting food all of that energy gets to go to other something else to, to healing the body to growing to repairing to cleansing balancing building the body so that's what I was doing I was resting I was on the computer a bit too much I think what I should have been doing was sleeping and resting and uh, having a clear mind and not because that's another thing, the brain uses a lot of, of juice, it uses a lot of energy. So if I would have been resting, instead of typing and making videos and editing and stuff, um, I probably would have healed even more. And maybe I wouldn't have even needed the second time that I've been fasting. So anyways, the first day was a seven day fast. I was on the computer all the time, laying down. But by the end of it, I felt fine. I could get up and I could run around like... Like before, before the fast, I could get up and I could walk around and stuff and without any pain. But if I were to sit down, because sitting was the worst. Sitting is what like made it hurt really bad. If, if I would sit for an extended period of time and then stand up, just that act of getting my my back into the position of standing was like super painful. And then it hurt even to walk for a while after that until my back was like back into position or something. It's strange, but. So anyways, that happened and I did a 70 fast and then I was great after that and my fasting experience, my breaking the fast was amazing. Like food, you don't know how good it's supposed to taste until your, your taste buds are cleaned out and cleansed and working properly. Like you have, 
food is amazing. No matter what the food is, it just tastes so much better after your fast. And it's, I don't, really don't think it's just because the contrast of not fast, not eating for so long, and then all of a sudden you eat something that it tastes amazing. I don't think that's what's going on. I think what's going on is that you're really cleansing out your, your, your taste buds, your tongue, your senses, everything, and you just become so much more sensitive. So that's one benefit to fasting that uh, few maybe talk about. And so anyways, I fasted for seven days, stopped for about a month, and uh, my issues slowly came back because I had to, we were going on trips and we were sitting a lot and we had to go in cars and I had to sit, which is what exacerbates my problem. So I decided to fast again even though in three days or so I'm going to be back on a plane to the U.S. to go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival and go visit my family. So, anyways, I should just get to the point. So I fasted again, six days, six and a half days this time. Um, was on the computer a little bit less, but still was on the computer. Didn't rest as much as I should have, but still had some great benefits. My back is a lot better. And um, I'm going to talk to Dr. S Dr. Sam when I get to the Woodstock Fruit Festival and hopefully he'll be able to heal me. I've heard he has that sort of ability. And um, so yeah, let's, let's get to the, the good stuff. I'll take off my clothing. It's freaking cold out here. Like, that's why I'm so white, it's because there's no sun here in the winter time. Curitiba, Brazil is in the south of Brazil. People might think it's all tropical and nice all the time, but there is a winter that is pretty oppressive. I'll show you real quick. Oh, it's dark now, but it's just dreary, man. It's dreary out there. Anyway. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's get to business. Okay. So here we are. Super lean, but super muscle free, you know? I don't think I've been so scrawny for since probably before I was raw vegan. Cause I didn't do much with my life back then. Didn't have the energy to. So uh we're gonna see what we can do about all of this. I'll take some before and after photos. You get the gist of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing squats very slowly. I'm gonna be doing push ups, I'm gonna be doing pull ups, I'm gonna be doing. I'm not gonna go to the gym, this is gonna be all calisthenic workouts. And uh, I'll make some videos about how I'm doing everything I'm doing and uh, inspire you hopefully to do the same and get fit with me. It's really, it's, it's a lot easier than you think it is. It's gonna be a pleasure getting fit again and going climbing and do all the things I love to do. Um, I hope you are enjoying my channel. I just got a pretty new sweet introduction to my channel that I'll put a link right here. And yeah, so lots of really cool stuff to be coming on my channel. It's gonna be a much more professional quality style video than it has been in the, in the past. There's gonna be uh, some really well thought out videos that hopefully will, will reach the masses. You'll see what I mean when they come out. And uh, subscribe please if you haven't already. And uh, I'll leave you with, I don't know, some fruit pictures or something, some fruit video. How about that? Sound good? Nice to see y'all again even though I can't see y'all. Hope it's nice to see me. And uh, have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are in the world. Peace. <laughs>